Hello to all you shredders out there. The first snow has already fallen and the mountains are cooling. To make sure you and your new snowboard setup are ready for the season, we're going to show you how to mount and adjust your bindings. Before you get started, make sure you have everything you need ready at a hand's reach. Got everything? Then let's get started. First, it's important to find out which foot you want to have in front, that is, whether you'll be riding goofy or regular. Stand up, keeping your feet parallel, and ask someone to gently push you. The foot you use first to catch your balance with is the foot that should be in front on your snowboard. In this case, Jake used his left foot, so he rides a regular stance. There are many different kinds of bindings. When you're choosing a pair of bindings, be sure to make sure they fit your board. EST bindings are connected by only two screws and will only fit on a channel board. All other snowboards have three or four holes to mount your binding with. A three or four hole binding can also be mounted onto a channel board. However, you may need to buy a special disc that's been tailored to the channel system. Be sure to find out whether your bindings will fit onto your board before you buy them. For the perfect fit and optimum power transmission, make sure your bindings are tuned to fit your boots. Put your boot in the binding and tightly close the ankle strap and toe strap. Make sure that there are no pressure marks on the boot. You'll get ideal power transmission when the straps are set to the middle, leaving at least 2cm on each side. For highest comfort, be sure to adjust toe ramp at the front end of your binding to fit your boot perfectly. Push the toe ramp forwards and backwards until it suits the shape of your front sole. You shouldn't feel any pressure on your boots when you're stood normally. As soon as you put some pressure on your toes, you should feel it. This is how you can tell that your boots are getting the perfect amount of support from your bindings. Generally, every binding has different settings. Some bindings allow you to change the heel cup as well, which helps you centre your boot in the binding. You can only adjust the high back once your bindings are secured to your board, so more about that later. The width between your feet, also known as your stance, can easily be calculated. But remember, this formula is just for general reference. You can still change your stance slightly wider or narrower according to your personal preference. Measure your height in centimetres and multiply it by 0.33. The result is your perfect stance. Here's the formula for you to note down. Our model is 180 centimetres tall. This gives us a stance of 59 centimetres. Now, one of the most important aspects of mounting your bindings, the degree setting. This depends on your preferred shredding terrain. In powder, you want more of a setback, i.e. the bindings are set a bit further back to help you get more float. In the park, you want more of a duck stance to make it easier to ride switch. Our rookie, Jake, has his binding set for all mountain terrain, which means he has less negative degrees on his back foot. For rookies, the ideal settings are 18 degrees in front and minus 3 degrees at the back. 20 degrees difference between both bindings are recommended for beginners. But at the end of the day, it depends on what you feel comfortable with. Play around with different settings until you find the perfect fit. Here's an overview of the different types of settings for different terrains. Now you know your stance, you can get everything ready to mount your bindings. Put the screws in the binding discs and rest your board on a flat, stable surface.
Make sure you have the right bindings on the front and back. The ratchets should be facing outwards. Look for the reference point on your board and use this point to mount your bindings with your calculated stance. Check if the bindings are placed centrally. If not, adjust them with the different holes in the discs. Once you've checked everything over, gently tighten your bindings. Take care to tighten the screws across from each other to make sure that you don't screw on the bindings slanting or accidentally break the fittings. The same goes for EST bindings. Only tighten the screws gently at first in order to be able to correct any mistakes later. Once you're sure that everything is in the right place, you can tighten the screws once again across from each other. Now we come to the high back. For maximum power transmission, be sure to set your high back parallel to your edges. This will give you more mobility too. Next, you can adjust the forward lean. The more forward lean you have, the deeper you will need to go into your knees, which helps you put more pressure on your backside edge. Forward lean is perfect for piece races. A more vertical high back is better for all mountain and freestyle. It will give you more mobility. The more vertical the high back, the more forgiving your bindings will be. So, now your setup is ready to hit the slopes. It's very important to make sure that you don't take all these settings too seriously. Play around with the settings and find out what you find most comfortable on your board. This tool is the perfect shred buddy, making it super easy to try new stuff. So keep on shredding!